it's Jenny Henderson from Chrysalis Business Support and I am here today with Ian Woodley uh, from Stilo Design. Uh, Ian is uh, an experienced creative director and has been running design agencies for 25 years. Um, and I know him through networking and he's an absolutely fantastic guy and has got some amazing products uh, and materials that he creates for his clients. Uh, and what he does is he really works closely with his clients to help them understand their business and the challenges that they face in communicating to their audience. Once he knows this, he can suggest appropriate channels for them to convey their message and they can work across branding and identity, design for print, video and motion graphics. And with their Stylo Touch product, they give you an innovative and interactive and digital iPad platform for sales and marketing. And we've just been looking at some of those examples and I have to say they are absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and I can't wait that we can share more of them with you later on. So um, I came over here today to Ian's beautiful studio here that he works out of. Um, and we wanted to talk about uh, what a startup company needs to know about branding and how to present themselves. So, so Ian, from your point of view and in your experience, what does that look like for a startup company? Um, I think, first of all, think about your name. Yep. Uh, is it memorable? Simple things, are you going to be able to get a good web URL for your website on there? Really important. Um, often I think developing a logo is um, often the first step. Uh, but think about the colours, the typography. Um, this can make a huge difference mm. in how you're going to be perceived as a business. Um, of course, the logo is naturally important. Um, but your branding is much more than that. This is all about the experience that your customers get when they come into contact with you uh, wherever you are visible. Okay, So, for example, for a restaurant, it could be the napkins, it could be the signage, it could be um, how the menus are designed. Mm. The branding covers all of those things, um, even down to the feeling they get when they first approach the, um, the business. You yeah. know? Um, it's always really important to get the, the details right. Okay. Um, to make sure that you've got consistency across the design on all mm -hmm. of your customer touch points. Yeah. Um, and that could be from printed material through to display, through to even just a PowerPoint presentation to make sure that visually if they've got that link between them all, it just seems a lot more professional. Uh, and finally, I'd probably say when you're presenting yourself, try and think about the messages that your customers want to hear, not what you want to sell to them but always try and make sure that you're addressing their challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, what, what do they need to solve? How can you help them? Okay. So I guess a good idea for a startup really in that aspect would be to look at their business uh, from fresh pairs of eyes and actually just walk through the business and see what the customer would be looking at and all the different areas of the business yeah. that the customer would be interacting with and then just see where they could actually make those improvements. Yeah, exactly. It's always easy, I think, if, if it is a startup business, you're intrinsically involved and, and, and um, you know, d uh, deep within it. And it's often nice just to get an outside perspective from yeah. somebody yeah, yeah, to yeah. see what they think. And very often just a quick meeting can unearth some interesting perspectives and different ideas that you might not have thought about. Fantastic, excellent. Great. Well, thank you very much. I hope you found that useful. Uh, again, it's Ian Woodley from Stalo Design. All these contact details will be down below on my website. Um, and if you've got any questions or you are a startup and you're looking for that extra little bit of help to make sure that your brand is done right from the beginning, uh, I'm sure you'd be happy to, uh, to help out and get in touch. So thanks very much. Thank you.